What's the latest on this escape, first of all? Well, the details are coming out um, bit by bit. Extraordinary escape. I, th- I should say, first of all, escapes from prisons in the UK are very rare. Um, doesn't happen very often. I think there have been five in the last six years. Um, and security is a sort of the number one priority and, uh, and security has really been beefed up since some high-profile escapes in the 1990s. But this man, Daniel Abed Khalif, who's 21, six foot two, former soldier, uh, he escaped just before eight o'clock this morning. He was wearing a white T-shirt, red and white checkered trousers and brown boots. Um, and the information that we have about how he did it He was strapped to to, uh, the underside of a food delivery van. He'd been working in the prison kitchens at the time and uh, presumably at that point the van, having made its delivery, has left the prison and Khalif was underneath it. Um, You know, it's the sort of stuff of, um, you know, prison movie, isn't it, really? But it's the reality. He's got out. Uh, There is an alert being issued to all ports and airports. Delays are being reported uh, at some ports and airports because of uh, extra security checks. Um, This is a man who is facing a trial in November. He's uh, accused of leaving fake bombs at a military base. He's also facing charges under the Official Secrets Act. So very serious allegations against him. Uh, And he was being held at Wandsworth Prison in South London. Now, this is a big local prison, very busy. There have been some concerns expressed about staff shortages there, about conditions at Wandsworth. And I think some people might not be surprised that we have a breach of prison security because it's gone a bit underreported, a bit under the radar with all the other problems with public services, but prisons are in a pretty dire state at the moment. They're short of staff and they're hugely overcrowded.